Now remember, we're just scratching the surface of why you need a data recorder. You know, like we tell a lot of customers, tell all of our customers, you shouldn't even start the race car without a data recorder on it. Uh, the next series of videos we're going to shoot is actually getting a little bit deeper into which sensors you actually add. And these are what we consider the most critical sensors uh, that you can add to any of your VNet data recorders. It's going to give you the information that truly helps you stop guessing and start tuning your car for winning. Uh, the first one is going to be oil pressure. Tell me about oil pressure, Todd. Okay, well obviously one of the most important things we could be looking at on our race vehicle would be oil pressure. It's critical to the, to the health of our engines. If the car is running with no oil pressure, then you're going to certainly do damage to the vehicle. So you definitely want to have a sensor on there that's going to go ahead and either indicate that via the data link software or even on one of the race pack dashes and have that information present for you uh, in order to monitor that. I know we've seen instances in data to where guys will tell us, I've got an oil pressure gauge and that should be fine, but I've looked at data going down the track and, and a lot of times drivers don't realize that the oil pressure drops at certain points on the track, gear changes, finish line, that type of stuff, and that's what they don't catch, right? right? Right, exactly. I mean, most people are having a hard enough time keeping the thing in the groove, let alone did you look down at the oil pressure gauge as you're going through the light. Certainly not the case and it's so easy to look back when you get back to the pit area on the data link software and you can clearly see if the oil pressure dropped as you're approaching the lights or at any point in the run. 